Welcome back to the Stephen and Sheep Metal Super 1 British Carding Championships. It's uh, Junior TKM up next. Joining me is the championship leader and the man that absolutely dominated everything at Landau, didn't you, Matt? It was a great performance at Landau. Um, what do you put it all down to? I just got hooked into the track, really. Got Just managed to keep consistent. Got a good lead at the start of the races and then just controlled my lead and did make mistakes and kept the lead and it just went really well all weekend. Okay, and this weekend, Butmore Parks, I suppose it's a similar sort of track, fairly tight and twisty in places. Is that going to suit you again? I seem to like this track, yeah, I'm getting on all right, but qualifying didn't go so well for us. We, the car didn't start and it just, well, we qualified seventh, which isn't too bad. And then the heats got taken out in the first one, then come third in the second. So we're starting seventh for the final, so hopefully we should do all right in the final. Okay, that's a pre-final uh, coming up yep. and then a televised final after that. So where you finish that pre-final determines where you start the uh, main televised final, of course. Who's going to be the main competition this year for the championship, do you think, in Junior TKM? It is quite competitive, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say Matthew Graham's looking good this weekend. He's doing really well. And Ryan as well, my teammate, he's, he's looking quite good this weekend and he did well at Landau as well. So hopefully I can keep it going then. Hopefully it goes well. Bradley, I've just spoken to Matt Taylor, the championship leader in junior TKM. You're the championship leader effectively in the rookie class. There's sort of half the field of rookies, half the field uh, experienced drivers. You're the leading rookie. There's a great prize on offer this year, a free drive next year. How mindful are you of that prize? Uh, we're just going to try and keep as consistent as possible and uh, just yeah, try and pick up as much points as possible and hope for the best sort of thing. So and you're six overall in the championship. When you're racing, are you specifically looking around to see where the other rookies are, or are you just out there racing everybody? Just trying to do the best we possibly can and pick up as much points as possible. Junior TKM time at Buckmore Park. Expect action. Matthew Graham and Matthew Taylor on the front row. Sam Fowler and Ryan Edwards, Witten and Sparrow, Griffiths and Suzanne Goodsold with Christian Briley and Joseph Reeves-Smith. And at the back of the grid, Jack Davidson and Matt Round Garrido in 12th. So there's plenty of drivers to storm up through the grid into the first corner and it's a bit of jostling already up to the front. It is still the number three, Matt Graham, who leads the way. Up to second place though, that's Sam Fowler, the rookie, making his way into P2. Matthew Rangarido down the inside at hairpin two and he's up to eighth place, started 12, so made up four in the first few turns. Well, I'd make that seventh now because he's actually got past uh, Chris Witten who ran wide on the exit of Hairpin 2. So he's now up to seventh place. Absolutely incredible opening lap for Raul Garrido. Watch out, boys at the top six. You've got a hard charger on your tail. And we know what Matt Raul Garrido is like when he's driving with the red mist. Look at that. P12 he started, now seventh. Game on. Yeah, Matthew had a difficult round at uh, Landau at uh, round one for these boys. It was round three overall for the championship, but it was the first round junior TKM appeared. Sam Fowler started P3 currently second. He's the leading rookie. Matthew Graham and Matthew Round Garrido, the two favourites coming into the championship this year, had an awful uh, weekend at Landau, but certainly Matthew Graham much better this weekend. Round Garrido was still with work to do, but getting there. And what about Matthew Taylor? The third of the Matthews won every race at round three. And he is very much in the mix as well. In third position at the moment, just in front of Ryan Edwards, the Welshman. And in fifth place, that is Lewis Griffiths with Round Garrido now right on his tail. So up another place. Fans of Fast and Loud on the Discovery Channel. Suzanne Gutzold will be featuring in the Fast and Loud Demolition Theatre programme shortly. So we see Matthew Taylor up the inside for second. Graham still out front. Ryan, Ryan Edwards is trying to make his way through as well and he's been left out to dry. He's lost about three or four places in the attempt to try and move up into the top three. What a dynamic shot. You can see at ground level just how close these carts are to each other as Matthew Rangarito again tries to get himself up into the top five. He's sat there in fifth position at the moment. Edwards is down to fifth position. 20 points off the lead, still in the top three in the championship at this stage, but he has now got Matt Rangarito all over the back of him at this point. Matthew Taylor getting closer to Matthew Graham out front. Looks like Taylor may make a move for the lead, possibly in the hairpin here, will he? 
Yes, he will up the inside. That's just a standard move. Once you get there, you've got to go for it straight away. You can't afford to sit. And we look at uh, Matthew oh Graham losing places. <laughs> it's all kicking off. And up to the front has come the 25. That's Lewis Griffiths. Griffiths has taken a beautiful move up the inside of the hairpin too. And gone, right, boys, you squabble amongst yourselves. I'm going to get into the lead. Edwards is now second. The third position. Oh, no, no, Griffiths has dropped back. Ron Carino's going for the lead. Edwards is there in second position. Third place, that is the 29 of Matthew Taylor. And oh, there goes Griffiths colliding with Goodsold. Goodsold managed to get it back together again. A little bit deeper into the race. And we can see that it's ended Griffiths' race. But Ron Garrido, after all of that, has ended up in the front. Not for long. Here comes Edwards. And Taylor's gone through as well. This is an absolute stunner of a race. Amazing action, we always oh. get it and into the back of uh, Matthew Rangarino, now goes Matthew Graham, look how close this is, it's a small grid, relatively small this season, just 16 in it, but uh, most of the field still in the race, and anybody can win this one Jake. What am I thinking right this moment, Kim Bolton, 2013 TKM Festival, Junior TKM Elite Final, it's starting to feel a little bit like that right now, we call that race the greatest kart race of all time, and as they fly through, this race is starting to become a candidate to, dis to displace it, and up to the lead comes Taylor, Edwards is going to have another go, here comes Ryan Garino! Oh, Graham goes with him for third place alongside Ryan Edwards. Edwards holds on. Here comes Davidson down the inside. Ruth Smith trying to go with him. Can't get it done. Graham drops in behind. This is definitely feeling like Kim Bolton a couple of seasons ago, Jake. And just behind them, Sam, uh, Sam Fowler and Adam Sparrow are banging wheels as well. Everybody in the top ten has got a chance to win this one. Ron Garino side by side for the lead again. Has he been able to hold on to it this he time? Has. Oh he my has. word, what a great defensive drive. Taylor's still there in second. The rest of the field is dropping back. Little leagues are on into the race and still Ron Garino holds this advantage. Suzanne Goodsold there right on the tail of the three of Matthew Graham. Great to see her fighting back after that contact with Lewis Griffiths. But now on the inside, here comes the 29. A great move from Matthew Taylor. He hits the front again. So how on earth is Ron Garino going to respond by getting him straight back again? Matthew Graham's dropped well down the field, out of shot of the cameras. Something's happened there, but he's down in what? Around about 7th, 8th place, I think that is. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I think he's in 8th place currently, Matthew Graham. Yep. He was leading it early on. Jack Davidson, certainly the man on the move, but it's Ron Garrido who's come from 12th to lead it. Fifth position at the moment is the 90 of Reeve Smith, just in front of the 19 of Adam Sparrow. Good to see those boys getting in the mix as well. And then comes Suzanne Goodsold and Adam, uh, Matt Graham up the inside again comes Taylor. He takes the lead in this time. Jack Davidson wants a piece of the action. He's going to try and get in there with them. He goes to the outside, goes to around the outside. And here comes the 13 of Ryan Edwards. He is now trying to get himself into the lead of the race again. Reeve Smith and 19, Adam Sparrow on the back end of the top four. Then it's Graham and then down to nine. Ninth position, I think that is Suzanne Goodsold. Here comes Ron Carino swarming around all over the place. Pick a line, it's probably the wrong one. We've seen some cracking racing over the years at Super 1, but I've got a feeling this is the best Super 1 meter we've ever had. We've already seen four fantastic races, and here's the fifth one in Junior TKM. It's all about Butmore Park, isn't it? It's got all the ingredients for fantastic motorsport. Up the inside comes Davidson to take the lead from Ron Garrido. Edwards has already dispersed to the 29 of Taylor. And up the inside comes Taylor again to move up to third place. A bit of a nudge from Reeve Smith. Brilliant jostling in the blower pack as well as Goodsold. Manages to hold off Adam Sparrow. And everywhere you look in this race, there is action all the way. Ron Garrido on the inside of Davidson. Edwards clashes with Taylor. And Taylor has dropped back a long, long way there. So Ron Garrido having to hang on to the lead of this race with Davidson, the 13 of Edwards in third position. Reeve Smith is in fourth place in the 90. Then it is the three of Matthew Gray. Oh, there's a three-car pileup. That's good sold. Taylor, and is that Christian Briley? Christian Briley's very, yeah, there he is. Very, oh, there's a recrimination. He's looking at Suzanne Gutsold saying, what's all that about, Suzanne? Just shaking her head. But uh, here's the back, back with the lead, and we've got a new leader. Davidson goes through, gets a little shot from Edwards in behind. Raul Garrido drops back into third place. Graham gets closer as a consequence of that contact. Sixth position, Sam Fowler, the rookie. He's trying to close in on these five as well. So it's all kicking off here at Butmore Park. Round Garrido, oh, he's moving over. He's letting drivers go through. He's overtaken under yellow. He's overtaken under yellow through Paddock Bend. He's put his hand up, though, and he's allowed the drivers back past. As a consequence, he's dropped down to fifth place. 
Now, he may have been seen overtaking under yellows, but because he's put his hand up, recognised the mistake and let people back through, he should get away with that. That's Christian Briley recovering his cart from underneath the barrier. That was well buried. Oh, that's Hugo Holmes into the back of Bradley White as well, under braking for the second hairpin. What happened there? Two racing drivers going for the same bit of tarmac, Alan. Yeah, here's the replay. You can see the... Uh, no damage done at the end of the day they're still in the same positions we rejoin it towards the business oh. end and the technical flag for cart four as Graham goes up the inside that's actually for the lead but cart four that's Matthew Rangarito's had to leave the circuit unbelievable once again bad luck strikes Matthew Rangarito he's driven like a legend out there today as Taylor gets out of the way having recovered the cart I suppose from his point of view points mean prizes he needs to get as high a finish as he possibly can despite the problems Jack Davidson fastest lap of the race as he swarms around underneath Matthew Graham trying to get back through Joseph Reeves Smith still in fourth position as the leading privateer at this moment in time and the leading rookie is Sam Fowler in fifth so it's a big day for the underdogs but here comes your battle for the victory Graham still with Davidson all over the back of him he's not quite close enough I think he's missed his chance so in one of the most dramatic races I've ever seen in Super 1 Matthew Graham is going to come through the left through the right onto the Sisley straight and take the victory that is going to mean the world to Graham what an amazing drive in a sensational race for Super 1 brilliant race he was down in eighth place don't forget a one time who was leading it then down in eighth he's come all the way back to take it Graham takes it from Davidson and Edwards rounding out the podium positions Reeve Smith Fowler White Sparrow Holmes Witten and Matthew Taylor ends up down in 10th place after the race Chris McCarthy caught up with a race winner you're on being all weekend yeah uh, we've been quick all weekend uh, gets by by Jade it was really good I mean, talk us through the race. You know, you dropped back, you know, nearly out of the top ten at one point. How did you manage to work your way back through? Yeah, we were back in eighth, and uh, there was a lot of carnage in that race. Uh, a couple of incidents led to me uh, coming back into the top three, and then ultimately into the lead. And who would you like to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank Jay Carts and DK Tuition. Fantastic race. A new championship leader in Matthew Graham, seven clear of Matthew Taylor. TKM Extreme will close out the weekend.